Have you ever wondered which half slice is fastest? Probably not, but we have, and this is what we do. We give a service to the people. So with the rise of extreme slalom, manufacturers are bringing out special sort of versions of their half slices, which are designed for extreme slalom. Now these are supposed to be the boats that get you down the river quicker than anything else. So we thought, how could we test this? White water has a lot of variables, um, but we want to know which boat is out and out the quickest in a straight line. So we have set up the white water canoe center drag strip. Now that runs from that barge over there to the end of our pontoon here. We reckon, we haven't done it yet, but we reckon that's going to be about 20 seconds. Now, if any of these boats are significantly quicker than the other, that should be highlighted in this little sprint. Four half slices, we've got our grubby little mitts on today. First up, we're going to be in the Piranha Ripar Evo. So this basically has been designed for extreme slalom. It's going to be used in the Olympics. So are any of the other boats going to be a contender for that? Second up, we're going to be in the Letman Machete. Then the Dagger Rewind. And last but not least, the Piranha Ripper 2. Let's jump in the water and test them out. Three, two, one, go! over on the WTCC drag strip and the scores are in. Uh, well, so what we did, we cycled through these four boats three times in total and then took an average uh, to get an idea, a more accurate idea of how fast they were. So here are the numbers. Should we start at the bottom? In 21.66 seconds we have the Ripper 2 in 21.63 seconds, only 0.3 seconds faster, we have the Letman Machete. Ooh, big, this is a big round up for the top two. Is it gonna be the Rewind or is it gonna be the Rip Our Evo? In 21.61 seconds, so ever so slightly quicker than these two, we have the Piranha Ripper Evo and the crown is taken by the Dagger Rewind with 21.44. Now, at this point, the stage would like to point out that there is no significant difference in top speed between any of these. That could be timing error. We tried our hardest. We didn't have beams or anything like that. We were hand timing it off a 3, 2, 1 go and when we finished passing a line, um, so yeah, which is the best boat for you? Which is the fastest boat? It's going to be the one you're most comfy in. So lucky for you, we've got all these four in demos in the shop, so you can get in, you can try them out, you can come down, you can run that drag strip, see if you can beat our times if you really want. However, one curveball. We have a boat which fits all the extreme style and regulations in terms of length. So it's shorter, or it's not shorter than 2.05 meters. It's not longer than 2.75 meters. It is over 18 kilos, but the only problem is it's not a mass production boat. We put it to the test. So the scores are in. And this time we have a significant difference. The Mega Cheetah did the WWTCC drag strip in 20.59 seconds, making it over a second quicker than the other half slices that we tested. Now the only rule it doesn't fit within the extreme slalom boat regulations is the fact that it's not mass production. If this thing goes into mass production, maybe we'll see this on the extreme slalom start lines a lot more. And on
on that bombshell, those are the half slices. <laughs>